My name is Howard Walker. The elders called me Masakopmoteo, Bear Walker, my spiritual name. The Lanch Run historically was done by scouts that went and looked for places for camps to winter for, for seasonal camps, if you will. And they went ahead and they had this lance for identity. In some places that lance was honored, that this man that carried that lance was to be spared and was to be helped in any way possible. But there were differences in tribes where lance keepers, lance runners did not make it home. In order for me to get, to give you the most exact purpose and spirit and intent of that lance, I had to go to elders, I had to offer them tobacco and say, Mushroom, tell me, what is this about? To be able to go into uh, unfamiliar territory, familiarize yourself and to live comfortably in that territory. That was the main teaching of the lance. And it was dormant for a long, long time. Since uh, the time that our ceremonies had to go underground, so did the lance. And it wasn't until 1996 when a chief, Barry Hennecke, had asked for a lance to be bought to his reserve from Poundmaker. Chief Douglas Joseph, at the time from Big River, had commissioned an elder a medicine man from Sturgeon Lake by the name of uh, Senator Hilliard Ermine to make that lance. This man had a vision of that lance. The lance keeper of Atakakup said, we, there's a rock in the front, and that was sharpened to make things easier. And the fur that was wrapped around that wood represents the four-legged. And in order for everything to be involved in that, in that lance. They put four eagle feathers, one from each direction, and that was to get uh, to involve the, the ones that fly. And the ones that fly, the eagle feather is a messenger of the thunderbird. The thunderbird looks after the water. So the water is involved in that lance through that eagle feather. So are the grandfathers. That lance has, uh, even in contemporary times, has powers that sometimes uh, unexplainable that if you're not aware of your spirituality. The lance represents life. It represents the life and it represents achievement of those capabilities that our children have. When you hold that lance, you feel different. When you hold that lance, when you're running down the road with that lance, Domestic animals you pass by will gallop along. The horses will gallop along. And even the cattle will. And the birds will fly with you for a while. Harness that with the courage of our leaders. The leaders like Tony Cody that envisioned this for a long ways so that our young people will have something to lean on. That legacy that we bring back.